What's up you guys? Um, I'm just going to jump straight into it. So yesterday I bought an iPhone 6S Plus, um, 64 gigabytes. I'm so happy with my purchase. I switched over from Android to iPhone. I may make another video as to why that was an okay decision for me. And who knows, it's only been a day, so we'll see. Um, but I love it so far. And I've been contemplating it for a while. Anyway, so what this, I'm trying to get. All right, so what this is is to download VShare onto your phone. I found out that this is the only way to do it. Um, I'm not going to delete it and then reinstall it for the sake of the video, only because that I was before this. I thought there was other methods of doing it that gave me a headache. And it turns out this is the actually the only way to do it, which is why I'm doing this video. You just go to VShare.com. It's really straightforward. www. Vshare, that's V S H A R E dot com. That is it. Um, so you just type that in. Uh, underneath new is coming. You click, oh, real quick, the first thing that you're going to need is to download iTunes. You don't need to have an account, you don't need to have it open or anything like that. You just need to have iTunes installed on your computer. So that's basically step one download iTunes. You don't need to have an account or have it open, just download iTunes. Um, Anyway, so yeah, then you go to vshare.com, uh, underneath new is coming, you click this right here, you click download, um, I, I don't know if you can see that, but I've already downloaded it, um, and the only reason I'm not going to delete it and re-download it is because my computer is very slow when it comes to downloading anything. Um, so anyway, once you, you know, install it, this, that, and the third, uh, you're going to get this, and uh, you know, this is the vshare helper. Um, and then you open it and then you get this um, once you get this is and then actually at actually after you have the uh, vshare installed you, can, you don't have to keep on the website open anymore you can close the shit or whatever so just to show you guys you can actually close out the website and everything and this obviously will still be open um, I just had mine minimized because I put mine on the taskbar there um, so at this point you would need you know a USB you plug in your iPhone if it doesn't work which is 100% guaranteed to work um, you just switch the iPhone cord because uh, maybe there's something up with your cord but um, yeah so it's guaranteed to work you just plug in your iPhone I don't know if you could see that uh, let me just show you guys so uh, plugged it out and then um, yeah, my Steven Universe wallpaper. And then, oh, fuck. Hold on. Just gonna show you guys. And then plugged it in. And it picks it up immediately. Um, and then what you do from here, I don't know if this shows the fact that I already have it installed. Apparently there's an update. I've never seen that over there. But I don't know if this, so look, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that. I didn't even notice that at first. It says jailbroken, um, no. And that means my iPhone is not jailbroken. Um, I'm trying to, yeah, jailbroken, no. My iPhone is not jailbroken. Um, I'd rather just, I'd rather, you know, keep it that way and not do that. Um, sorry, that's my dog in the background. But yeah, so this is what you get. And what you do from here, I don't know if you can, okay, you can't see that, so let me pick up my camera. What you do from here is you're going to want to, actually, it should pop up automatically on your phone. So what's going to happen is once you plug this in, um, you wait for a little bit, and then uh, VShare will just pop up on your phone. It's, it's awesome. But if it doesn't, which I can get, almost guarantee that it will, um, to do it manually, you will just click this right here install vshare and then you go over um, and then let you know let that install it's gonna pop on your phone at that point and then you just go over and click um, reauthorization re whatever so this part and what that is is it's to make sure like you know it's to make sure it's authorized on your phone you're not gonna have any crashes at all or anything like that I've had no problems with it again and so let me unplug my phone and show you Oh my god, it's not focused at all. My camera doesn't automatically focus. Give me a second, you guys. Alright, so... Let's do it this way. 
So um, I go here and there's V shared. I downloaded quite a few apps off of it. Um, and then you can click infinite and this shows you a bunch of apps that you have to, to load and just usually just goes on and on. And what happens is when you want to download something you click it it'll download it and it's going to down it'll say downloading and it'll pop up here and then when it says downloaded it'll show up here and as you can see these are the apps that I've downloaded so far playbox doesn't work because um, they switched to and it has nothing to do with this they switched it to cinema box but you can find a movie box here um, fruit ninja I had this that and a third angry birds tiny wings I literally just downloaded um, and then upgrades is upgrade is where you know you're gonna need to update your apps now let me find something real quick just to show that it'll work minecraft might take a while yeah but anyway so yeah just go here you can search apps whatever I downloaded tiny wings not too long ago um, actually let me cuz let me show you something so tiny wings I think it costs like 99 cent on the app store tiny oh fuck tiny wings cost like 99 as you can see I didn't I haven't paid for it um, I don't know if you can see that Okay, apparently you're not you're not seeing that, but it costs it says 99 cents. Um, I'm trying to get you to see. Okay, there you go. So it costs 99 cents. Um, now let's back out of this. I'm going to delete it since I already have it. So as you can see, that's just tiny wings right there. I'm going to delete it. Delete tiny wings delete as you saw it costed me it costs 99 cents in the actual app store here's V shared right here um, also you can use this app here to download um, movie box movie box has been working without a problem all right now let me type in tiny wings all right tiny wings it doesn't cost anything on this this app and then it's downloading. It's downloading really fast, actually. Um, so I couldn't show you the other way. Okay, so here you would click install, and then there we go. It popped up already. Let's see if it works. I always have a problem doing this. All right, there we go. Let's do the name real quick. I just want to show you guys that it works. Well, I'm like being terrible at this right now okay so anyway as you can see it works and then we're gonna just go oh, fuck I don't know I clearly took a picture by accident so we're just gonna go back I forgot that iPhone can do this we're gonna go back to the actual app store like the legitimate app store all right let me fix my phone back to what it was all right we're going back to the regular app store as you can see I have not paid anything for it, it still says 99 cents there. I know you probably can't fucking see that this camera, um, but yeah. So that's how you do it. Also, I have Movie Box here. Um,
can also find this in vShared. Uh, that's an ad that pops up in the beginning and it works without a problem. So this is how to get free movies and TV shows and stuff. Um, and it works it works really great. And so to find that in vShared, you would just type in movie box. Hold on. Did I do that right? Sorry, I got a text message. Oh, whoops, I typed that into the actual app store. That, that's, that's what the mistake was. Alright, so, and this, type in movie box. And then it's the very first one. There's a there's gonna be a, a couple of them that are like duplicates, like this one for example. Um, this is movie box here. This one doesn't work. It's the very first one that you need to download. Um, now, when you download these apps, sometimes you might get a little error thing that says, and it's not an error. It just says like the iPhone hasn't trusted this app, this, that, and the third. And to fix that, you just go to settings. You go to general you go down and then you go to where it says device management you click it see the movie box is one that I download I'm not going to delete it but this is where you would click uh, trust app and this is the other app fruit ninja I also um, downloaded through that app and that's it all right you guys you know enjoy the free movies and enjoy the free apps all right you guys have a good one bye